Tonight, four young men are charged with first-degree murder following a 12-day violent crime spree in Memphis. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Nearly a year later, loved ones are still mourning the death of the grandmother who died. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher is live in North Memphis with tonight's top story. Rebecca. Well, Katina, good evening. We're not far from the area where Belinda Humphreys died. She was shot and killed while she was in the car with her husband just around the corner from their home. Their grief-stricken son tells me that they, he actually moved from the Memphis area since her murder. A friend to all, always in our hearts, is how those in Belinda Humphreys' Nutbush neighborhood describe her. She was a bright spot to that street in that neighborhood. And, and you know, when she was so tragically murdered, they shocked the whole, they just... Well, no. Stephen Brown and his wife Laura placed up this memorial shortly after she was murdered. The grandmother was shot and killed during a carjacking just around the corner from her home last year, only days before Thanksgiving. Police say teenagers DeWante Jacox, Jason Poole, Mar Davis Thompson, and Jalen Causey are charged with first degree murder. Humphrey's son, Shane, moved out of Memphis following her death. He tells me that she was the glue that kept the family together, sharing not a day passes when she's not on his mind. We're just glad to see, you know, the chapter of this sad book now closed on that. So, you know, nothing arrests or anything else will ever bring Belinda back. It's a bittersweet thing. And the same group is also accused of robbing half a dozen people, including a couple in Berclair. It's a relief to know that the people who committed such a heinous crime are now off the street. A lot of people were scared. I mean, why wouldn't they be? They were Yeah, and authorities say that the teens were arrested uh, after they were found in a pickup truck that they allegedly stole just days earlier. Meanwhile, neighbors who live next door to Mrs. Humphreys say that they're more on guard going out at night and they no longer drive near that intersection where she lost her life. Live tonight in North Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.